What's up, YouTube? Dylan here, doing some espresso bar, and I welcome each and every one of you guys back. Uh, I've been struggling a little bit here lately, uh, as you guys noticed with my dog Ellie, and I've also been having some personal issues of my own. So I am back. I am here making more content for you guys. I have not gone anywhere. So today we are going to be doing something that's pretty fun, pretty interesting and will hopefully save your machines uh, to last a little bit longer than what you normally think they would. So uh, make sure you stay tuned because we are going to talk about what we are going to be doing after we roll the intro. YouTube, Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and as you guys may notice, water is essential for an espresso machine to keep its life the way it should, you know? So, one big thing that I have been really, really looking into since purchasing the Linea Mini is water quality. And yes, I said water quality because I have three espresso machines two of which were the Bremel Barista Express and the dual boiler that I have kind of quote unquote neglected uh, based on water quality. So I've only been using Brita filters with tap water and it seems to do the job I thought. But as I did more research, I came to the conclusion that it wasn't really doing my machines good. So I've been using third wave water recently with my Linea Mini, and that's all I've used on my Linea Mini. Now, a lot of people will say that it causes your machine to overheat. I have not experienced that issue within the first week of purchasing the Linea Mini. However, I want to be able to make my own water, which we will see in the future videos of me making my own water for my machines. And it's gonna be a little bit of a cheaper option as well because third wave water does get a little pricey. So today we are going to be comparing tap water, Brita filter with the tap water. We're also gonna be looking at third wave water, crystal geyser, and then a little bit of a twist using the third wave water in a Brita filter and crystal geyser in a Brita filter. And we are gonna kind of compare the difference and we are gonna be looking at the pH and also the TDS, total parts that are actually in the water. How hard is your water? So stay tuned. We are going to be in the kitchen right now. All right, so we are in the kitchen. Today, we are gonna be looking at, like I said, I have all that out. I have it all written on paper and I'm going to be keeping a personal log in my book here that I will explain and show you guys at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start testing the pH and the TDS, the total hardness of the water within all of these waters here. And I will come to the conclusion of which water I believe right here is best for your espresso machines at home. But make sure to stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel because I will be making my own personal water that will be cheaper than third wave water, but I will be doing the testing of my own water as well. And we are gonna put it up against the third wave water. So make sure to stay tuned and let's get to the testing. Okay, so here we go. We have our pH monitor testing here and I will put this in the link below. And here we have our TDS, which also gives us what we should have for decent quality for our water. And I will also put that down in the link below as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have tap water. So let's go ahead and fill that with tap water. So now we are going to look at the pH of tap water. And that is going to read at, call it 8.2. So, we have 8.2, but now we are going to look at 
the TDS of tap water. All right, so as you see, we have 197. So now that we finished up our tap water, we are gonna move right into Brita filter. So I actually have two Brita filters here and I currently already have the Brita filter water into the cup itself because I had to take everything out for demonstration purposes. So let's get started. So with the Brita filter, we are looking at a pH of 6.34. Now we are going to take a look at our TDS for our Brita filter. So let me just go ahead and hold that. We have 141. So now we move on to third wave water. All right. So right now, I currently have, so the way third wave water works is you have to mix one of their packets with distilled water. So this is third wave water. So I will go ahead and dump the third wave water into the cup. There you go. And we will run the same tests here. So we're gonna go ahead and dip this into the third wave water. Oh, it's 6.7. We have 131. Now we move into a water that I have heard really good things about. And this water so happens to be the Bottled at the Source Crystal Geyser Natural Alpine Spring Water. So we are going to see, does this stand up against third wave water? We will go ahead and pour some into the cup here. And we are gonna go ahead and test as it sits. So, so pH 7.18. So now, what does our TDS record here? All right, so our TDS comes to 165. All right, so now we look into our Brita filters. This Brita filter is going to have third wave water. So what we are gonna do is just pop that cap we are going to add our third wave water. Let that slowly drip on the bottom here. And while we're waiting, because it does take a little bit longer, since it is going through the filter, we are going to go ahead and add our crystal geyser. This Will this make a difference? I'm not sure, but we are going to all find out together. All right. So I do want to show you just a quick, just in case anybody has any feedback, they are both 100% for the filter. So they were just changed for this experiment because I wanted the freshest filter as possible when giving you guys the most accurate results. So I will get right back to you as soon as I can pour with these filter waters. All right, so now that the filters are finally done, we are gonna go ahead and dump the third wave water into the cup. And we're also going to pour the crystal geyser into the cup. Now we're gonna go ahead and test each of them out. So we are gonna start.
5.4 for pH. Now with our TDS, we have 124. Now I move on to the Crystal Geyser. Five point six four for our TDS. Eighty five. So that concludes all of the waters. And now we're going to get to showing you guys the results on the paper and why I believe this certain water that I have right now currently at my house is best for my espresso machines. So now we have our results written down on our main piece of paper. As you can see, the normal TDS that the coffee community requires is 35 to 85 parts per million. Now with pH, they require a six to eight for pH. So now as we look through this list, we are gonna see right away that tap water is 197 and 8.2. That, in my opinion, is way too bad to put into my espresso machine. So now we come down to Brita filter, which is at TDS of 141 and a pH of 6.34. So this is definitely the option that I have been using for my espresso machines. Now we take a look at third wave water. Third wave water is 131 and 6.7. So obviously this is the best water thus far, so we are going to give it a check. This is what I have been using. So now we're gonna come down to Crystal Geyser. Crystal Geyser sits at 165 and 7.18. So you notice that 7.18 is extremely good, but I would still consider the third wave water better. So now we come down to third wave water with our Brita filter. And as you can see, it has a TDS of 124 and 5.4. So it's below the normal pH, but it's getting closer to our normal parts per million. However, I would say that the pH is a little too low. However, this is our best option so far. So now we're gonna come down to the crystal geyser with our Brita filter and you have an outstanding TDS parts per million of 85, which is incredible. It obviously reaches our max right here at the TDS of 85 parts per million that the coffee community requires for your espresso machine. Then you're gonna come down here to pH of 5.64, which is below, but still closer than the third wave water. So in my opinion, after conducting this test, you can save money at home by using Crystal Geyser, natural spring water, bottled at the source, using it with a Brita filter, and I would say you get your best results. So it X's out everything else, and I would recommend using Crystal Geyser with Brita filter water because the numbers don't lie, and this is what we are getting here. So. Obviously, we're getting a little bit better results with the Crystal Geyser. And I would say that if you added third wave water to Crystal Geyser water, it may be too much minerals in the water and too much minerals could also affect your espresso machine. That's why they recommend using their product with distilled water. However, this is nothing against third wave water. I've been using third wave water and I absolutely love third wave water. However, I do get that lingering salty to the palate aftertaste when drinking their water. So I will be showing you guys my own water coming up soon because it is going to be a cheaper and I think just a more beneficial option for you guys at home who really care about your espresso machines and taking care of them and also the life that you can get out of them. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Dylan with Dylan Thomas Espresso Bar, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.